Okay, so we're going to get into a bit of pork trimming now. Um, this is just another one of the jobs that we're going to do uh, leading into a competition. Normally I'll, I'll split them overnight, so I might do brisket Monday night, uh, pork Tuesday night, ribs Wednesday night, chicken Thursday night. I'm fortunate this week in that I've got a few rostered days off and I can hit some of them during the day, but that would be my normal um, MO, I guess, in terms of trimming my meat. So we've got two pork collars we're going to trim up. Uh, again, I won't show you trimming them, that's a whole other video in itself, but if you do want to check out a good video on trimming uh, some pork collar, check out the Smoke and Meat House's pulled pork video where Brendan goes through trimming one up and removing the money muscle. Um, and also if you just want to watch a good um, home pulled pork video, you can check out our one on YouTube. Uh, it's a bit uh, different to the brisket trimming in that it's not quite as ruthless, we're just removing that one muscle. So if you have a look down here, you can see this muscle that runs along here. That's our money muscle there. Um, or actually off the top of my head, I don't know the proper name for it, but they call it the money muscle because if you nail it, you're in the money. Um, and normally uh, with pork, we're doing pulled pork. Normally with the money, we slice it. Um, and I guess just as a side note for those that don't compete in the pork category, in the pork category, it's not uh, any cut of pork. You can't just go get a pork belly or pork cheeks or anything you like from pork. Uh, it is It basically has to be pork shoulder or from the shoulder. So a whole, sh uh, whole shoulder, bone in, uh, Boston back, collar back, but it has to be from the shoulder. So uh, I'd say almost 100% of the time people are turning in pulled pork, uh, either in pulled and chunks, and then your slices of money muscles, real typical um, pork turn in box. All right, so there we go. We can see we've removed that money muscle now. Uh, we've trimmed that up, taken all the silver skin and hard fat off, and we've done the same thing to our collar here. We've given it a nice tidy up, got the silver skin and all the hard fat off, so uh, that's looking much nicer. There we go, we've got our pork and our brisket now trimmed, which is really good. That'll about do us for today, I think. And then we're going to carry on in a couple of days and finish off the rest of it. We're getting through our list really well. So I think we're going to be pretty prepared for this competition. Okay, so it's Wednesday night and we were going to leave it till Thursday, but we decided that we're going to go ahead and trim the chicken up tonight. Uh, so we've got Heather trimming our chicken this evening and I'll just flick the camera around. You can have a look. Okay, so what we're trimming up here this evening is some chicken thigh, and I would say that a majority of teams out there will be doing chicken thighs. Uh, there'll probably be some that do drumsticks uh, or breast or possibly even wing, um, but we do thighs. Uh, these particular ones are Waitoa chicken. Um, we like to use them because uh, they're a good size, uh, they're consistent size, they uh, taste really good, and they're local to the Waikato as well. So uh, that's the chicken that we use for competition. Right, so what we're doing with these thighs is uh, we're deboning them. Now there'll be some teams that run bone in and some that run bone out. Um, that's really up to the preference of the team, but we, we generally run bone out. Uh, and so we're just trimming them up, making them uh, all even, and we're actually putting them on the scales at the end there to make sure they all weigh the same. And that's so, uh, for one, they're a consistent size, and for two, that when they cook, they're all cooking at the same time. There's not some smaller ones that are gonna cook quicker and some bigger ones that are gonna cook longer. And so um, trimming chicken is one of those jobs that uh, is I said, sort of jokingly beloved by competition teams. It's not always the most fun thing to trim up, um, but it's just part of the game. And uh, getting them done tonight is good for us. It gets it out of the way and one less job to do tomorrow, um, which is really good. Just leaves us a bit less to do. So we're going to trim these up. We'll get them all backpacked, tucked away in the fridge, uh, and that'll be us till tomorrow. Well, it's uh, Thursday morning. It's our last day of prep. Just been down to New World and done our shopping. Uh, so a lot of the focus when you're prepping is on your meat, your rubs, sauces, injections, but uh, the shopping you do is actually also pretty key. There's a lot of things that we're going to need here. Uh, you can see we've got some bottled water for us to drink for our injections and brine. Uh, we've got our butter, stock, some snacks for ourselves, some bacon and eggs for breakfast, got our apple juice um, and a few other bits and pieces there. So um, it is um, a quite a key step in our preparation. So we're going to pack away all the dry goods and put all the refrigerables in the fridge till tomorrow morning. And uh, the next step once we pack those away is going to be to make our injections and our chicken brine. Okay, so we've just fired through and made up um, our injections and our sauces. So um, we've got those all sorted now. Um, and I like to do these at home just because it's one less thing to do at a competition, one less thing to worry about. Um, and I guess less gear to take too. So we've got everything we need there. You might notice we don't have anything for the ribs and that's because our teammate Jared's taking care of that. So he's going to bring that stuff with him in the morning. So I'm going to go tuck these in the fridge um, and uh, we will leave them until tomorrow morning when we pack the last of our gear. All right, so we're pretty close to being done now. We've got our um, injections and sauces made up and tucked away in the fridge. And the trailer is largely packed. We've got everything we need in here. 
Um, we've even got our, I'll spin the camera around. So we've even got our run sheet up here and some teams will run these, some won't. Um, it basically has all our key timings for the weekend. And to be honest, it's a bit like our pack list. The more you do it, the more that, um, I guess the less you rely on it, but I find it's just a bit of a safety net. If everything absolutely turns pear shaped. Uh, I can reset and go back to that. It just, uh, I guess it's peace of mind to make sure that I don't miss any key timings. So that's pretty much it really. Um, if you remember the list right at the start, uh, we've ticked off pretty much all of that. The only thing left is to put the um, meat and other refrigerator refrigeratable items like our sauces and injections and other bits and pieces uh, to pack them in in the morning. But other than that pretty much does it. But like I said at the start, uh, different teams will have different processes. Some might wait to get to the competition and trim all their meat there. Some might um, you know, do everything at home beforehand. It's just whatever works for the team. Um, but hopefully it gives you a bit of an idea, a bit of an insight into um, a week leading into a competition. It is a pretty uh, busy week, uh, but in the meantime, I've got the rest of the afternoon, so I'm going to go down to the local publican, have a nice cold beer and something to eat, and just uh, relax um, before a busy weekend. Okay, so we've just pulled out. Um, perfect timing, just as we were leaving the uh, courier turned up with our behemoth beer and um, I was a bit worried that we weren't going to make it so it was perfect timing. Um, so cheers to behemoth, we've got some uh, some uh, nice beers to drink this weekend. So um, everything's packed up, obviously we're about to hit the road, it's just before 8 in the morning so we're looking at getting down to New Plymouth about midday maybe just before um, and there's always a bit of, I wouldn't say it's nerves but a little bit of apprehension when I go to a competition, I'm not sure if I can put my finger on why. Um, why that is, but there's always a bit of nerves. Either way, we're on the way. We're looking forward to catching up with the teams. It's often the same teams that compete at competitions. So it's really good to, uh, going to be really good to catch up with some familiar faces, especially after five months since our last competition and the COVID lockdown and everything like that. So um, yeah, that's pretty much us. Hope you enjoyed the video. Got a bit of an insight into what we do leading into a weekend. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.